Great to see you guys. Boy, this is pretty good, right? Christmas apparently is not over for Wall Street and your wallet. Stocks climbing to new highs today. Americans keep on spending this holiday season. We're looking great at the markets with the Dow closing at an all-time high, up 108, almost 109 points. Record close. 21st record of the year wow. for the Dow. So, good to be with you on a day like this. I'm Connell McShane. And I'm Jackie DeAngelis. In for Melissa Francis. This is After the Bell. Well, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ both ending at new highs as well. For the NASDAQ, it's the 10th consecutive record close. The longest stretch of records in more than 22 years. Pretty and good. closing above 9,000 for the first time ever. Fox Business team coverage, Blake Berman in Washington, Jerry Willis on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, Jeff Flock in Chicago. We're going to go ahead and start with Jerry. Jerry, what happened today? Wow. So call it a melt up. All three major averages finishing in record territory. The Dow only needed 36 points to do that. It beat that level. And so we are now at a new high. As you were saying, that is the 21st record close of the year. The S&P only needed a little more than a half a point to finish in record territory. It achieved that and more. So we're here, here we are fueled mostly by Apple shares. And finally, uh, we've got the NASDAQ through 9,000. Very big uh, finish for the NASDAQ. The tech, very critical part of stocks moves. Let's talk about Amazon for just a second here. The company's saying they added 5 million people as prime members over the holiday season. They said it was a record holiday season for them. They did very well indeed. And uh, just adding a lot of people who can add to their bottom line. Some of the people actually signed up for a trial membership on, trial, on Prime. Others actually paying that $119 a year. So Amazon with a very good day. Meanwhile, Apple also pushing the Nasdaq to new highs, finishing in record territory. Apple a big player this year. That stock uh, is up more than 80 percent, I believe, this year. It's done very, very well over the course of the year, despite big questions about how it might perform. Uh, I remember there's lots of skepticism this time last year about Apple. Very different scenario, though, from last year. As you know, we finished the year uh, on a sour note as we had major sell-offs this year. That did not happen. We've got a lot of investors in the market betting heavily on stocks, returning again and again. And we haven't had a lot of people selling out of positions, uh, trying to take gains. So good news for investors, good news for markets. Back to you. Jerry, thank you so much. All right, a little more retail now. If you are thinking about maybe returning or one of the presents that you got yesterday, you're not alone by any means. In fact, the retailers are bracing for shoppers to be returning a number of unwanted gifts. And today, in many ways, is the day to do it. Jeff Flock is on the legendary State Street in Chicago's shopping district, keeping an eye on things. Jeff? It is a play of the uh, day to do it in Chicago because we hit a just re just hit a record temperature, high temperature in December of 62 degrees. Uh, very few people with coats on. Look at people; they just you know, it's amazingly how warm it is. And this may be an all-time record for returns. Take a look at these numbers, Connell. These shock me. Uh, according to Oracle, they did a study that found three quarters of people who get a holiday gift will return at least one of them. 20% will return half their gifts. Ungrateful people. Uh, and when do they do it? Well, uh, about half of the folks return it within the first month. So it starts today, goes all month uh, through the month of January. But 80% say they prefer to return them in store. And right now we are outside Macy's on State Street, which some of you remember if you're from Chicago as Marshall Fields. Look at these iconic windows. I'm just always fascinated by these. They never get old. Uh, this is a big cost to uh, companies, though, not just the uh, making the windows, but the returns. Uh, the returns cost restocking costs, uh, uh, lost profits, and all the rest. And that's just online. If you look at the overall bill for uh, or the number of uh, uh, numbers of things returned and the value of them, that's a hundred billion dollars this year. The estimate is that's an increase of about ten percent. Apparently, we're getting more picky about our online and in-store purchases at Christmas. I don't know why, but we are. You have us pegged, Jeff, a bunch of ungrateful Americans. <laughs> Jeff Flock covered it all in Chicago.